Shaking hands with world leaders and attending meetings is all in a day's work for UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. But his plans to attend a summit hosted by Iran has subjected him to fierce criticism in the United States and Israel. This is a country that is in violation of all kinds of UN obligations and has been a destabilizing force. Uh, we uh, hope that those who have chosen to attend, including UN Secretary General Ban Ki Moon, will make very strong points to those Iranians that they meet about their international obligations. The U.S. and Israeli administrations explicitly asked Ban not to go as tension mounts over Iran's nuclear program. The West believes Iran is secretly developing weapons, and Israel has threatened to bomb Iran's nuclear sites. Iranian officials recently fanned the flames, saying that Israel would one day cease to exist, a comment criticized by Bonn. But others say the U.N. should be above U.S. politics or the interests of any particular country. Pressure from the U.S. and its allies kept Iran from attending a U.N. meeting on Syria, despite the wishes of Special Envoy Kofi Annan. The reflexive rejection of it what was again dictated by domestic political concerns about, quote, not legitimizing, end quote, uh, Iran's government or Iran's role in the region. Bonn is traveling to Iran to attend a summit of the non-aligned movement, a group that represents about two-thirds of UN member states, many of them from the developing world. It's traditional for the secretary general to attend these summits and talk to world leaders, even those he may have criticized in the past. Previous summits have included other notorious world leaders at odds with the West. Leaders in the movement say it's an important venue for countries to make their voices heard. The non-aligned movement does have 120 members that are both members uh, in the movement and in the United Nations. Uh, the Secretary General has responsibilities that he's uh, determined to carry out, uh, both to the non-aligned movement and in relation to Iran, precisely because of the level of international concern about issues that include uh, the country's nuclear program, human rights, and uh, the situation in Syria. As for his visit, the UN says Bonn is just doing his job. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, the United Nations.